Uh, so LeBron James, who everybody knows, skipped high, skipped college to go to the NBA. Um, he played for Coach K. He's always talked about playing for Coach K. Actually, won two gold medals with him in 2008 and 2012. What was 2008? Beijing. 2012 was Rio. I believe, but he just tweeted about playing for Coach K, who said, quote, just woke up having a dream. I was playing for Duke for Coach K inside Cameron Indoor Stadium. It was insane. Then Coach K said it was an honor to suit up for him. And he said the same thing back to me. He's such a legend. Then it turned into a concert. Dre and Snoop were performing and they was doing the, the song next episode. The roof and Cameron, Cameron damn near came off. Then my alarm went off and I woke up. Now, look. I'm going to say this, LeBron's pretty much, well, I guess he'd be 40 in what, a couple more months? A lot of us, when you get to this point, you 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 start thinking about things that you wish you could have done. Not necessarily regrets, but just like, oh, if I can go back, things would have been different. Now, LeBron came out in a time where NIL deals didn't exist, so he would have lost potentially $40 million to go play for Coach K. You know, nobody's going to do that, but at the same time, you know, you still have those, those thoughts like, man, what if I just would have played... Just half a year. How many games did Kyrie play? Was it 11? He only played a handful of games, but he still knows that he's part of the Duke Brotherhood. And um, you could also say that just as far as like with other schools. I even remember T-Mac talking about he still thinks about playing at Kentucky. Deion Sanders said he still dreams about playing Major League Baseball. Even myself, there are things that I look back and I'm like, man, if I can go back, I would have did this different. Or I'll have dreams about things that I haven't done yet. That's on my mind. So, yeah, you know, who who wouldn't want to play for Coach K? And I'm sure if Brian would have played for Coach K, he probably would have been National Player of the Year. There's a good chance he would have made it to the Final Four and potentially won a national title. Yeah. Let me think. Who was there? It was him, Lou Aldane. I don't think Boozer was there. Or Shane Batty. I can't remember. But I do think that had he went to Duke... It would have been, you would have seen probably Kevin Durant go there. You would have started seeing a lot of one and duns go there prior to, uh, I think Kyrie was the first really one and done. I mean, I know Drew Aldang went one and done at Duke, but to where it became a, a known thing. Yeah, he, you definitely could have seen him go, go to, I mean, them all be one and duns. And even with Carmelo, now then the question raises, does Carmelo stay one more year? They try to play against Brian, and does that change college basketball? And also, will Carmelo go pro? And be the number one overall pick. But I will say this though. Let me say this one last thing. I do think that if Brian would have Brian would have went to Duke college basketball, the game itself would still exist. You know, we all know that uh NCAA football came back, but there's still a fan base for college basketball, not just 2K. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I mean, again, it's Coach K who wouldn't want to play for him at Duke. And I know he talked about his sons playing play. Well, he hoped his sons play for him. I'm pretty sure if Coach K would have stayed, bro. Bronny and Bryce would have played at uh, Duke. And then also, well, that would have also changed Bronny's development as well. Because right now, you know, he's a, uh, uh, you can tell he's still learning the ropes in the, the NBA and the G League. But you guys want to get my quick thoughts about it? Tell me what y'all think.